I'm gonna read five English. Accept, burden, confident, endurance, example, exhortation, favor, idleness, lazy, practice, proper, rapidly, refuse, request, subtle, spread, tradition, wicked. I finish my word test. Thessalonians second. Verse 16, chapter 2. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father, who loved us and in his special favor gave us everlasting comfort and good hope, comfort your heart and give you strength in every good things you do and say, pause your request for prayer. Finally, dear brother and sister, I ask you to pray for us. Pray first that the Lord's message will spread rapidly and be honored wherever it goes, just as when it came to you. Pray too that we will be saved from the wicked and evil people, for not everyone believed in the Lord. But the Lord is faithful. He will make you strong and guard you from the evil one. And we are confident in the Lord that you are practicing the thing we commanded you and that you always wear. May the Lord bring you into an ever deeper understanding of the love of God and the endurance that come from Christ. On exhortation to proper living. And now, dear brother and sister, we give you this commands with the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay away from any Christian who lives in idleness and doesn't follow the tradition of hard work we gave you. But you know that you ought to follow our example. We are never lazy when you were with you. We never accepted food from anyone without paying for it. We worked hard day and night so that we would not be a burden to any of you. It wasn't that we didn't have to write to ask you to feed us, but we wanted to give you an example to follow. Even while we were with you, we gave you this lure. Whoever does not work should not eat. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and wasting time uh, meddling in other people's business. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we appear to such people. No, we command them, settle down and get to work on your own living. And I say to the last of you, dear brother and sister, never get tired of doing good. Take note to those who refuse to obey what we say in this letter. Stay away from so they will be ashamed. Don't think of them as enemies, but speak to them as you would be would to be Christian who need to be warned. Paul's final greeting. May the Lord of peace himself always give you his peace no matter what happens. The Lord be with you all. Now here is my greeting, which I write with you, my own hand. Paul, I do this, the end of all my letter, to prove that they will really are from me. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.